Hi guys, it's Darren here from DeepBlueApps.com. First of all, thanks for the amazing support over at DBA. You guys are absolutely amazing. And without you, we wouldn't be able to bring you these amazing templates. Now I'm going to show you how to edit this one. Now the first thing we need to do is, you see this, we've got template to build. Now we'll Alt, left click and drag. And then we'll just simply call this one level 4. Now we need to go in here, the first thing we need to decide is how many cheeses we've got. We're going to have to collect before we can get into the uh, into the house there. Um, I actually want some more on this, so I'm going to Alt left click and drag, and then Alt left click and drag again. We'll put another one up here. So now we've got seven cheeses. Actually, I think we'll move this uh, little house over here, the little mouse hole, and then we're going to go in here into the controller actors, no need to unlock it. How many cheeses is currently set to five? Now we need to change that to seven. Level unlock. Now because we're making level four, we need to unlock the next level if we complete it. So that's always one one number above the level. So if you're making level five, this will be this will become six. If you're making level seven, then this number will turn into eight. So that's already on the correct number. So that's all we need to do for that. Now I want some waypoints in here, I want some enemies. Just go into layers Select the enemy layer because it's always important we're on the correct layer. And then go back into game, come down, find the waypoints. Now we've got two different waypoints in at the moment. Now these are really easy, you don't have to do any code at all. We'll just drag this one in here. This is going to be the starting position. Now this orangey browny one will go round in a complete circle. So if we put six in, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then start at one again. So let's just have them there, and then just drag the cat in anywhere near the first waypoint. Also want to uh, have a reverse, so let's just start this one here. And we'll actually make him go to right about there, and then we'll finish there. So it's going to go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 2 to 1. So this one actually goes backwards as well. And... Just test this one, make sure everything's working properly. And you notice the black cap is going from 1 to 2 to 3, back to 2, and back to 1 again. The orangey brown cap is just going round and round and round, so that's working as expected. Now you'll also have to go to your level select, and let's show you how quick and easy it is to do this as well. Now just alt and left click, drag a bit of cheese across, select the lock. Alt and left click and drag the lock across. Now we double click on the cheese. Now obviously we want to go to level 4. So we'll change that change scene to level 4. We'll change this text display to 4 just for a visual purpose. And which level? To 4 as well. In the lock, just drag this closer to the actor. All we have to do for the lock is change that number to four. And it's job done. You can basically go in, play your levels, and yeah, that's pretty it. That's it guys. Uh, that's how easy it is to actually edit and change the template. Uh, add more levels and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for the support again over at DBA.